I think it's always good to give people a chance. A whole year of my life. Did all his shopping. Cleaned his drains. That's the key word. People. Not some skinny weird lad. I even hand washed his socks because he said they were too delicate for the machine. Well, we're all delicate. So I've decided to go for a new flavour. Oh, hello there. What's your name, fella? <laughs> Louise. <laughs> Sorry, I just... You'd think people will stick up for you, and they don't. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I thought Ryan would stick up for me. Put in a word, my oldest friend. My best friend. Yeah, me. I totally would have put in a good word for you with Dave, but I've been doing something really super important. FIFA. Yeah. Yeah, FIFA. Dave Benson Phillips is used to having keen fans. I provide Dave with daily suggestions for new rounds on Get Your Own Back. <laughs> because it will come back. It has to. Ryan Martin has only one remaining real fan who is especially keen. So this bitch tweeted Ryan. My Ryan. My sweet, sweet future husband, Ryan. <laughs> she said she was his biggest fan. Queen of the rhinos, she said. Traced her IP, followed her home, and well. <laughs> now only crown she's wearing is a dental crown. Dave Benson Phillips has decided work experience assistant Darren is no longer required to experience work assisting Dave Benson Phillips. Well, see you then. Darren. Darren? I didn't know that was his name. I thought it was Tony. Dave will now try and remember his computer password. Dave Benson Phillips has work experience assistants in all of his companies, but Darren has lived the longest. Is this going on BBC One? No. Oh, uh, do I look okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess you're my replacement. Do, do I know you? No. Off your pop. <laughs> Super Ryano fan Lulu is in disguise. She's wearing glasses. Bye bye, Ryan's best friend. Leaving Ryan obtainable. What would your advice be to your replacement? Look after Mr. Benson Phillips. Just make sure he's clean, front and back. So, I've got to get you to a big blogger convention in London. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, London's the capital city. Yes, I do know that, Dave. Who told you? My mum. Well, anyway, you'll be there cleaning portaloos. Well, well, at least you'll be there. What are you trying to do to me, Dave? Oh, get out of my way. Oh, come on! Come on! It's port and lose, man! Gotta start somewhere! It has to start somewhere. Ground upwards! I mean, I started off by making coffees for Biddy Baxter. I got my feet in the door with John Craven by doing his guttering. Mind you, I didn't complete it, though. Got a lifetime ban from Country File. Ryan confronts Dave about Darren. Look, Dave, I think we need to have a talk about the way you got rid of Darren. Hey, everyone! I'm the new work experience assistant for Dave Benson Phillips. Hello, Ryan. So, uh, what were you saying? Uh, nothing. Everything's fine, Dave. Everything's fine. All things must end, especially periods of work experience that run contrary to national living wage laws. Oh. Let it stand now, the friends are all departed. The kind hearts, the true hearts that loved the place of old. And the one and only. Dave Benson Phillips has a new work experience assistant who was experiencing assisting herself to her new employer's belongings. She has an unhealthy interest in Ryan Martin. What? A foolproof disguise. Can't I do work experience for Dave? We have a lifetime of game show strategy to discuss. Hey, Ryan! Hey. Uh, 
if that suit your name, I, I wouldn't necessarily know what it was. <laughs> if you even are Ryan. <laughs> I am the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> the only one for me. Chesney Hawks. Oh, that came out the same year that Get Your Own Back started. Oh, we tried to get that as the theme tune, but it proved to be way too expensive. I am the one and only. Nobody I'd rather be. I, am. <laughs> uh, I just thought you should know. Uh, Dave's been laughing at your drop in followers. I thought it was a bit unkind. I'd want to know if someone was backstabbing me. Right. Uh, to separate people, you have to drive a wedge between them. Lulu is stirring. Not just Dave's guns. Ryan was saying how Funhouse was better. And he said the rounds on your show were fixed. And they should bring it back with him as the presenter. Because he's younger and so much better looking. With a face so lickable your tongue would dry out. <clears throat> Lulu continues to stir. Drive a wedge. It's wedgy time. Dave is tapping his fingers in his car before driving using his fingers. Ryan, look, just get in there. Clean some bogs, right, and mingle. I'm a star. Oh, look, only in your own head, right? Look, you're objectionable, you're rude, nobody likes you, in fact, everyone hates you, and what's more, you're not famous. And neither are you anymore. Lulu's plan was working. Hey, Dave, look, I know we're not supposed to interfere, but have you checked your drawers? Oh, I, wish, I ain't got time for that, fella. Pointless is on. Tell you what, you got to keep that Richard Osman off the beers. Yeah, four cans in last summer, and he was giving it all of that to Alexander Armstrong. Slashed his tyres and made a pass at his wife. All because of some silly argument about who used up all the milk in the green room. Yeah, you know, it's a shame when some partnerships go sour. Life is too short. Ryan! Yeah, you should have seen her in the pub though. She was, she was absolutely crazy, you know. Was she drunk? I don't know. She's not had that much to drink, really, so I'm not really sure. But... Hey, hey! What? What's she doing? Who? Hey! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, shit off! What? What are you doing? Oi, what's that? What have you got there? Where's she going? Oi! Oi! Tell her to come back. Yeah, she's vanished. She don't want to be seen. Hey, Roxy, come on. We we'll, we'll have to go and tell Dave about this. Come on, let's go and see what he says. Come on. Ooh, she's a bit livelier than that last work experience fella. You know, I think I'm well in with that work experience girl. I mean, come on. This face, this hair. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? Don't you recognise her? We're really not supposed to say anything, but we think she's dangerous. I'm dangerous. Dangerously fit. <clears throat> For the benefit of the documentary as a whole, I asked the crew to step back, as a kidnapping would add to the narrative flow. Uh, is Ryan about, fella? Uh, Dave, yep. I think there's a situation. My crew thought there was a situation. They were correct. And for that, they would be paid this week. Never seen such hatred in a human being's eyes. Crazed superfan Lulu has kidnapped her idol, Ryan hashtag Ryan o. Martin. Hey, all you Ryan eyes! It's Ryan with me. <laughs> just like Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendes, Jay Z and Beyonce, Justin and Selena. Dave is watching the live kidnap stream. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He's trembling because we're going to be so amazing together. Well, don't look at me, I don't know what's going on. I believe I fell for the glasses trick. Like when Clark Kent disguises himself as Superman. Hello there. Hello. Nutter. <laughs> Mind you, I remember back in the day when Philippa Forrester took Toby Anstis hostage. Yeah, Toby Anstis promised Philippa Forrester a lift. Ran out of petrol, and then she missed the final episode of Lovejoy. Oh no, I play it back then, she just snapped! Never seen such hatred in a human being's eyes. But I came to the rescue. 
me and Pat Sharp from Funhouse. Yeah, he taped the last episode of Lovejoy on the VHS cassette, but it was my cassette. I'd loaned him a week's worth of wipeouts. I got a restraining order against you. Oh, you little tease. <laughs> Pet's vlog. Live for 24 hours, nearly a whole day. Then what? Then we can be together forever. Me and Pat, the dream team to the rescue, got Philippa back on the straight and narrow, Toby back reunited with Otis the Aardvark, but yet yeah, it's Pat that takes all the glory. Yeah, Pat, he takes all the credit. I wouldn't mind, but it was my fuel and my videotape. I tell you, he is a complete and utter. Dave Benson Phillips has realised his protégé, Ryan Martin, has been kidnapped. If I kidnap Dave Benson Phillips, we play every round of Get Your Own Back. Every round. We play for 13 years. Dave is talking to Lulu via webcam, a tool many celebrities use to display their own tools. Who are you? Ryan's future wife. <laughs> His biggest and bestest fan. First one to comment, first one to post a response, first one to show appreciation for everything he does. No one loves Brian more than me. Top poster on his Tumblr, retweeted everything he's said ever. And under my belly button is an outline of his face in biro which I'm having tattooed on my skin. If my mum says yes, she will because basically if she ever expects me to turn my music down or take my plates back to the kitchen, she has to. You leave us alone, or I'll do something really crazy! Tiny! You won't be able to threaten him with those. Shut up, Dave. You know, you know, keep it up, because that's it. Threaten me with them. Oh, scary. Tiny! Shut up, Dave. Oh, that's it. I'm really scared now. Despite running a course, Police Procedure with Dave Benson Phillips, Dave Benson Phillips has decided not to call Look, the police. They've got to be missing for 24 hours. Trust me, I know this. I've seen all 26 years of the bill. June Ackland, now there's a real sergeant. Do you know that uh, LaRue's her daughter in real life? Yeah, well you'd know that if you did my course, Celebrity Genealogy with Dave Benson Phillips. Mm -mm. Many other courses are available and Dave would like you to do them all. Dave Benson Phillips has realised after prompting from the camera crew that in order to find Ryan, there is only one obvious person to ask who has been previously featured in the documentary. But who is this returning person? Me? No. Him. What's the connection between you two? Yeah, Take the cat! Oh! Your smile! Never stop. Yeah, it's really great. One, one of my best features. <laughs> Ryan Martin is still held captive by his biggest fan. In order to track down his kidnapped protégé Ryan Martin, Dave Benson Phillips is meeting former work experience assistant and Ryan's best friend, Darren. Dave had hoped never to see Darren's face again, but as he has neglected to blink, that was not to be. Lulu Davis. She became a bit obsessed with Ryan when he started vlogging. Got so bad he had to have a restraining order against her. Irony is, she's probably his only fan right now. Do you know where she lives? Can I come back? Well, seeing as she's been my head the duck. Oh yeah, and kidnap Ryan. I want paying now though. I work for free for a year. Ten pound a month? Let's go. Leave it to the professional. So it goes like this. Dave goes inside the house, restrains the kidnapper, lets avoid the violence, then gets hold of Ryan, gets him out of the house, ducks him down as the house explodes. Yeah, explosion's optional, but hey, I'm not ruling anything out. Yeah, turn the cat's hole! Oh, total power! Yeah. hero. So, what's the connection between you two? You know, I used to love your show. Awesome. I still watch old episodes, pirated online. Just stop loading. What? I guess I'm getting my own Ryan back. <laughs> and I'm never letting go. Ever. Uh, Dave, get me out of here. Do you hear? Ooh. 
I loved you on TV. Flattery is one of Dave's four weaknesses. I'll give Mr Benson Phillips a couple more minutes. He'll be being very, very heroic. Do you want me to sign something? That would be amazeballs. Oh, all right then. Now I can stop pretending to be your work experience assistant and just be me. Oh, well, it's always nice to meet a fan. Listen, Dave, I would make a brilliant TV presenter. I, I mean, look, the camera loves me. Well, yeah, well, you've certainly got plenty of attitude for the job. I mean, possibly too much attitude for Blue Peter, but uh, certainly not for ITV too. I tell you oh. what, I tell you what. Look, take my card, right? Give me a phone call and we'll arrange something and uh, we'll see what we can do. <gasps> I'm going to be so good on TV. Me and Ryan could have our own show. How fit will our babies be? Darren is waiting for Dave to rescue Ryan. Did you forget something? What? Ryan. Oh, silly me! What, what am I like? Mr Benson Phillips, yeah? do you have some gunge? Always. Petrol tank. Forget electric cars. Gunge-powered vehicles are the future. Darren is soaking a handkerchief in gunge from Dave's petrol tank. Darren is now at Lulu's. Oh. Look, why don't you take Darren instead? Ryan! Look, Lulu, here's ten pounds. It took me a year to earn this. You can't stop us from being together. Me and Ryan forever. Have you seen this bit of rhino merchandise? Uh, a rhino hanky. Skills? Thank you. Concentrated gunge, it's more powerful than chloroform. Let's see. It works every time. <laughs> now the team are back uh, together. Uh, and, um, do you know what, Dave? Um, <sighs> this is a first. I'm sorry about what I said to you earlier. That's all right. Listen, the irony is, right, you're in the news again. Yeah, you're back in the spotlight, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Um, uh, Darren. Yeah, um, thanks, fella. All right, here we go. Oh, just there. Read that. Hmm. TV presenter rescues failed blogger. Who is that reporter, Dave? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to follow her and then unfollow her just to teach her a lesson. Unbelievable! And, and why even mention you, Dave? Clearly I'm the story. I think things are back to normal. Yep. All back to normal. Next time... Oh, baby, have you shit yourself? Pat Sharp? Yes. <laughs>